Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show first things to do after installing Kali Linux. So I will explain all things I do after installing Kali Linux. So first of all we have to check our repository file using this command. Your repository file should be like this. If you miss something else click on the i button. How to update or fix your repository file in Kali Linux. Now the second thing is to set the root password. Using sudo i command you can log in as root in the terminal. Now here you have to use the password command, you can set the root password. Now the password is updated successfully. Now the third thing is most important after installing Kali Linux. You have to update and upgrade your Kali Linux using this command. Now, this step depends on your internet speed, how much time it takes to update your Kali Linux. This command also used for upgrading your older version of Kali Linux to the latest version. Now the fourth thing is installing a new terminal which is Terminator. Using this command you can install the Terminator. Terminator is an alternative terminal for Linux that comes with a few additional features and functionality that you won't find in the default terminal application. For instance, in Terminator, you can split your terminal screen both horizontally and vertically as you wish. I am using the Terminator as my default terminal. Now next ask is to customize the Kali Linux terminal. Now we all know the latest Kali Linux UZ shell is the default shell. You can use the bash shell if you want to use it. I customize the Kali Linux terminal using Z shell themes. You can check the article. I gave the link in the description. You have to simply copy and paste the command in the terminal and choose the themes you want. Oh my ZSH is a delightful, open source, community driven framework for managing your ZSH configuration. It comes with many functions, helpers, plugins, themes, and a few things that make your terminal beautiful as you want. Now the last thing is to install the Tor browser using this command. Tor is free and open source software for enabling anonymous communication. By directing internet traffic through a free, worldwide, volunteer overlay network consisting of more than 7,000 relays. In order to conceal a user's location and usage from anyone conducting network surveillance or traffic analysis. After installing the Tor browser, you can simply search the Tor in the menu bar. The first time at downloading the Tor browser, click on connect and connect your browser with the Tor network. Now you can check I am connected with Tor. You can also open the Tor browser using this command. So that is it. These are the things I do after installing Kali Linux. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel, so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.